Hey everybody, it's Daniel here with another episode of Timu Reviews. Are you guys ready to join me in the Timu verse of madness? Well, today we're going to be ordering the Ocarina of Time. So I'm sure a lot of you know what an Ocarina is just because of the game Zelda. That's when I first learned about them. But they're actual real instruments. And so I'm going to order a 12 hole Ocarina. It's actually a Zelda Edition one and everything. It's only about $12, so it's really cheap and it comes with accessories. And I also decided why not order another Ocarina. So I ordered a smaller six hole Ocarina. And it's only like $3, so it's really cheap. And so we're going to order both of those and compare them and see how they sound. See if they're worth it. See if it'll maybe transport me in time. Well, there it is. Let's open this thing up. All right, so we got both the ocarinas in here. There's the little box for the little one. It says yellow on the front. So I guess I ordered a yellow one. I didn't even remember, so. There's the other one. So I don't think, if I remember correctly, I did not order the blue one, like the standard color. I think they were out, so I had to order a different color. I don't remember what that color was, so let's open this thing, open this thing up and take a look. All right, so we're first gonna do an unboxing and then we'll do a sound test of both of them. So first, let's open up this little one. All right, so what is this? Oh, I think it's, oh, it's got music in it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, Mary had a little lamb. It also tells you how to hold it. Looks like it tells you the notes. That's very helpful. Well, it's got more songs too, lots of stuff. All right. And it's got the ocarina itself. This one's made out of plastic which it said in the description, so I knew that. And then it's got the string. I'll put that on a little bit. Um, that's so you can wear it around your neck and carry it around with you so that you're ready to transport in time whenever you want. You always got it on you. All right, so let's move this one aside for now and open the big one. So this is the moment everyone is waiting for. Okay, so it's got the notes on the back of the box on this one. Shows you the different colors, musical instruments, ocarina. All right, let's open this thing up. So like I said, this one comes with accessories, which is nice. This is like a carrying pouch. Nice. Also got a string. It's got some instructions. That's nice that they all come with this to teach you how to play it. So I kind of know how to play the ocarina. I used to have a few. I don't remember very much, but you know, we'll see how I do. All right, so there's, that's so cool. It's the little stand for it. It's a little hand that holds up your ocarina for you. That is really neat. And it's made out of ceramic. Like this isn't plastic, this is heavy. All right, now the ocarina. Oh, uh, yeah, like I said, it's not blue, it's like a, I don't even know what you call this color. It's kind of a dark green, bluish dark green, but there it is. This is heavy too, this is also made out of a ceramic material. It seems very nice quality. I'm actually very impressed for only $12. Um, okay, there's a little blemish right there on that hole. But all the other ones look great. I don't see any other issues. Um, but yeah, we'll do a sound test and go from there also. Okay, I don't know how this goes on here. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not right. How does this thing even go on? Oh. There we go, maybe. Neat, actually. I think it's supposed to go that way. Let me give you guys a better look. There it is, and it's beauty. That's so awesome. 
All right, well, let's do a sound test now. All right, so we're first gonna start with the little six hole yellow ocarina. And I mentioned before that I kind of know how to play an ocarina, but not a six hole. I had a couple 12 hole ocarinas. So I'll have better luck with the other one, but I, it came with the instructions that tell you the notes. So I'm gonna see if I can play something. You know, don't expect much, because again, I don't know this one very well, but we'll see how it goes. So there's your C scale. That's not in the instructions. I was just seeing if I could figure it out. Um, let's see what songs it does come with. This ocarina, you know, for $3 sounds fine. Like, I don't know a high quality ocarina. I don't know what that would sound like, but like the notes sound fine on this. I have no complaints. Like I'm impressed. So let's see. We could do, it doesn't have any Zelda songs. Maybe the other one does, but Let's try Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It's nice because, like I said, it not only has the notes, but like it has like a tab with the notes, so it shows you exactly how to play the notes. So that's why I could play it so fast like that. Like I haven't practiced that song. It just makes it easy to play. We could try another one and then we'll move on to our other one. How about happy birthday to you? If it's your birthday, this is for you. Happy birthday. All right, let's move on to our other ocarina, the Ocarina of Time. Let's see if I remember any of the Zelda songs I used to know. But first, let's go through our notes. And uh, um, as you can already tell, this one is lower because they are different. They have different um, ocarinas. Like I think that one's like an alto. And I think this one's a tenor. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. But anyways, let's try this one out. So this one's definitely not as loud as that one. Um, and also, I'm not very good at playing these, so like, you know, my intonation might be bad on this, because like, you've, with wind instruments like this and stuff, depending on how hard you blow and everything. And if your fingers are covering the notes all the way, like it's gonna make it sound different, you might sound off. So I might sound a little off, but I'll do my best. But that was our C scale. Let's try out a song. This also has tabs on it. So let's try this out. It's got the exact same songs, no Zelda song, sadly. But let's try Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You can probably tell I don't sound as good on this one. Uh, maybe it's because it's just harder to play or maybe I'm just not as good playing it. It seemed like that six hole was a lot easier to make the notes sound good. 
So I don't think it's the ocarina. Like I think it's just my playing. But you know, let's try some more and see how it goes. Let's see if I remember any songs. Not bad. Let's try some Zelda. I don't remember my other 12 hole ocarinas being this hard to play and make sound good. So I don't know, maybe it is the ocarina, maybe it's just me, um, but this is difficult to actually make sound good. So again, this one is really easy to play. Notes sound clear and crisp and loud and definitely worth the money. This one, I don't know, I'm not an ocarina expert, but like it's really hard to get the notes to sound great and in tune. It doesn't ring out as well as the other one does. Um, let me guys know in the comments if you know a lot about an ocarinas. But I like it, for only $12, you can definitely practice on it. Like it doesn't sound too bad. Um, so like, is it worth it? I would say even twelve dollars, yeah, because that's all it is. It comes with all these accessories. You can learn the ocarina. Plus, it looks cool, so you can use it as a display. Like if you have like a Zelda shrine, this would be awesome. So definitely rec recommend the other one as well. This one is amazing. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and what you want to see next. But until next time.